Hello everyone, how are you all? So today we are going to show you how can we deploy our React application, okay, which is specifically for the front end. And this video is basically to teach you how how and what are the different methods to deploy a React application. So here we'll be starting with a React framework. We'll use Byte, okay, because this will uh, help us to save time and along with it has already multiple functionality which will help us okay so if you're using react i will say don't use react like the raw one better to use next.js or some different framework you can use white also so what we need to do is we need to run this command this command will create a white project yeah. for us for that first open cmd i will create this in this same desktop open in terminal it will open the cmd now you need to hit the byte up command byte command starts with uh, npm create white app you can do or you can do npx okay we will start we'll copy this command and hit it here enter and let's wait we have hit the command so we need to wait for some time so now it is asking for project name we will name it as white project hyphen deploy we'll be using react we'll using normal javascript and it's done now next is cd white we'll use tab it will automatically fill up then it's showing uh, npm install we can replace it with npmi as a allies for install so it's done our next command will be npm run dev what it will do it will create a development it will run the complete pro entire project in the development mode okay now we can see when we go here we can see that page okay how it look like let's wait and see but before that we need to open that same thing somewhere okay so this is our project yes i trust the author so we can see multiple files are there okay let me update something app.jsx we don't need these things oh we need the button edit this uh, i want to remove it update it with h4 and writing hello how are you all so now it should reflect here hello you how are you all now we'll deploy our apply this application okay just for safer side what we'll do we will update this white plus react with our uh, some data okay hello this is testing website hello this is testing website if we can see this then yeah it's deployed well okay now what needs to be done as the complete entire project is running on the development mode first we need to create our build okay when i say we need to create our build for that we need to know what is the build script here it's build only what needs to be done is let me run the build command i will i can stop it or i can create a new let me create a new window and here i need to go to desktop let me check the location one drive desktop okay cd one drive desktop okay now i am on the same path i have that uh, white project yes now i need to go inside white project now i need to do npm run build this will create the build directory and once the build directory is ready now i can show you one thing it's kind of magic for you if you are new in this the build directory is not named as build in white it's name as dist okay go to index.html open it in live server open with live server and then you can see the same code and that's the magic but you might be thinking where is it why it's showing this why it is showing empty now let me tell you one more magic there's a higher chance that uh, the thing went wrong is the location one it is not able to get the location let's verify that stop it run build is done let's try preview 
preview spelling is right yeah so preview is okay now we can see our application preview mode okay it is in 4173 but you might be thinking what is the difference between preview and this development so let me show you one thing we have a folder called dist if i remove it minus r dist oh i cannot use this command here let me remove it manually let me come here and dist okay it's empty deleted not deleted it's it okay now it's deleted now tell me what if i run this without build if i run the preview what will happen okay we have our preview mode here let me run it preview and see we are getting error why this error is because that preview we will do that is the start that is the production deployment before that we are it is mandatory step to do npm run build once you do npm run build it will create a dist directory it's created now you should run it okay how can we run it the easiest option will be npm and Control shift n that will create a new window and then go inside dist you need to go specifically inside dist now if in this directory if i do open in live server then can we see something see now you might be thinking why it is showing it here but it's not showing there because how it is work how this works is like it has something like root path this path href path or this part said so slash asset is less that means this as this will find us it's like asset folder inside the root directory but for our this project what is the root root directory slash asset doesn't exist root in the sense when you minimize all that directory should be present here it's not there but if i show you in this case minimize all we can see our asset here okay so this way it's work okay let's remove this now as live server works here we can see our page so what can we do is let's now let's specifically move to the core purpose of the video and that is deployment for deploying in netlify we'll use netlify for deployment okay and for deploying in netlify first you need to log in simple step click on login and let me close this windows unnecessary windows okay so i'm already logged in user okay once you click on login it will log in if you are logged in now click on add new site but you might be thinking what are the ways first way is do npm run build and then click on deploy manual your manual deploying now before doing this step you need to be very sure that this will only deploy the files of folder which will contain html cs and js that means if a project in vs code okay in a directory is running in a live server then it will work but we have just ran it now so we can do what we can do we we have run it when we go in this dist and then we do live server so if i directly do this upload let's wait until that time we need to push our code in github to show the second method published it's published it's deployed okay now if i go in the link okay the site overview will show us the link and site configuration we can edit it can we see our page the answer is yes we can see our page it is in working state this is first case now second is can we deploy our application by github yes we can do for that what steps needs to be done for that we need to create a github account if we don't have our bitbucket any account okay which follows git So we have a dummy repo as testing deployment and the steps are followed up here. To push the complete code, what needs to be done is just copy this from git in it, paste it somewhere. First, update the after add you should update it with dot. Okay, and you should be in root root directory. It's mandatory to have or what you can do is minus minus all. Okay. You can do this. Just copy, Control C, and run it directly. Control C V will work here. Okay, paste. Three, two, one. Last command. I will hit enter. It will push the code. So congratulations. This code is being pushed in GitHub. I need to just refresh to validate, 
and yeah, I can see the code. But our task is not to do this. Our task is something different. We need to deploy the code for that. Again, go to GitHub, go to Netlify, go to Sites, click on Deployment. Now you need to click on Import an existing project because this code is already existing in GitHub. I will move to GitHub. Again, it is already authenticated for me, authorized. I will. Uh, it will automatically redirect me back. Now, just give me a second to configure it. So I have added that testing one and we can see testing deployment here. I will put a name that is react deployment. Okay. Moving further below the branch is main base directory is same npm run build is needed. See here npm run build is required. If in build you need to add npm run build because for looking on the code we first need to do this and then deploy this dist. No environment variable is needed. Deploy react deployment. When I click on this, just wait. Subdomain must be unique. Okay. Subdomain must be unique. What the hell is this? Okay, it, it, it's not a unique one. Let's do code. Now it should check availability. Yeah. Now it should work. It's deploying. It will take around one or two minutes to follow up the steps of which we do manually in npm run build and all we can see it here in deployment logs it will show you everything whatever command is being hitted here so here we can see it's deploying and the logs let's wait it will not take much time congratulations it's done so the first initiation is being done now it will do build command building skipped deploying skipped cleanup skipped okay now all are completed it means see again the dist is there so we can see our code just go there click on that react deployment see its code react deployment and we can see it jai hind jai bharat